I have a park bench full body workout for you. This is great for when you're taking it outdoors or when you're traveling. 20 different exercises that you can utilize with just a simple park bench. So let's get started. All right, the first exercise is traveling toe taps. So each of these exercises you can do for time or you can just do them for a set number of reps. So for the toe taps, you can count going forward, going side to side, how many times you go side to side, or you can do it for a duration of you know, 30, 60 seconds. But toe taps. Getting yourself warmed up, getting those knees up, all right? Next one is power step up. Switching legs. So if you don't want to jump, just step it up, back down, switch it out, which leg you start with when you step up. The next one is just a single leg step up. You're going to keep your leg on the bench and just a light tap back with the toe. Most of your body weight is going to be over your foot. And you switch it out and do the other side. All right, so now a side step up to a reverse lunge. Step it up to the side, bring the knee up, back down, reverse lunge. Up, knee, back down. And you'd repeat that one on the other side as well. Now we're gonna be doing a side step up to a curtsy lunge. So same thing, bring it up. When you come down, going into that curtsy. So you gotta work on your, sta your stabilizers, your core, your balance. Bring it up, knee up, and take it down. And repeat that one on the other side as well. All right, glute. Leg lift and a glute side leg lift combination. So for this one, you're going to be, have one knee on the bench, gonna have a flex foot, take it back, glute leg lift, and then bring it out to the side. And you'd repeat this one on the other side as well. For the leg lift, I like to bring my foot all the way in front, as far as I can and then out to the side. All right, a single leg squat. For this one, you're gonna start seated. Single leg, and bring one leg out, contract those quads, press yourself up, and back down. You gotta use your balance, up, and slowly lower down. Just tap down to the bench. And you'd repeat that one on the other side as well. You don't want to bounce off the bench. You just want to tap down with lots of control, okay? All right, moving into split squats. Placing that back foot on the bench. You need to have your toe in there or the top of your foot. And you might want to start from the bottom position. If you have a hard time getting into that, just start from here. This helps to set you up correctly so that your foot, your front foot isn't too far back or too far forward. And then you're just going to press up and down. And you do these on both sides as well. From here, we go into our next exercise, which is a Bulgarian RDL. So you're going to keep this leg straight, maybe just a slight bend, and you're going to forward fold without rounding your shoulders down, keeping that back nice and strong, feeling the stretch in your glutes and hamstrings, keeping your eyes down so you don't want to be looking up for this one, and back up. So you can have like an imaginary bar that you're holding that you're sliding down your leg and back up. Bulgarian RDLs and you do that one on both sides as well. This next one is an archer squat to a press back plank. So starting on one side you're not going to be touching the bench for the archer squat. Come down in the archer 
Then you're gonna put your hands on the bench, come into a narrow squat, press back. If you wanna add in a push-up, you can. It's almost like a half burpee. And then to the other side, Stay low. Try to stay low for this one. All right. Lateral plank walks to mountain climbers. Start in your plank, walk it across, you get to the end. Eight mountain climbers, walk it back across, repeat on the other side. From that plank we're just going to be doing up down shoulders so we're going to be taking it down to the ground and then back up then alternate which hand you went down and up with you can come a further away from the bench if you need to as well up down shoulder plank all right push up to press back this is a nice little stretch mid-workout so setting yourself up in plank give yourself a push-up and then press back and really stretch it out come back up press and stretch Tricep dips, turn it around. Sit your legs straight out in front of you and lower yourself down to the ground and press up. So arms at parallel 90 de or 90 degree angle and press up. Keep that belly button in. And it's also like you're sliding up and down a wall. Tricep dips. We're staying right there in that tricep dip position with our legs straight out. And we're doing reverse planks with the knee in. So keeping it here on this reverse plank, we're gonna knee it in. Those knees all the way up, almost to your front delts. Okay, working your abs. Stand right here. All right. Then we go into in and outs. So we get to sit down on the bench. Knee ends, and then take it out. So knee in, out, in, and out. If you want to step this one up a little bit and do that leg raise to the knee end. Leg raise, knee in. All right. Hip lifts. For this one, you're going to lay on the bench, okay? Lay down, grab onto the end of the bench and hip lifts. Uncurling from the bench and slowly lowering yourself down as well. Bird dog crunch. So I'm gonna be in the plank. One leg out, one in, crunch it in, send it out, switch it out. the last one a side plank rear delt fly from here start in plank come up into that side delt rear delt fly you can make it a little bit harder by doing a star taking that leg up back down repeat on the other side it's 
finish it out? And that is are your 20 exercises that you can do from a park bench full body workout. Get it done on your next walk, jog, or run.